Good morning. Uh, I am headed out to the range to test a question that I have for you guys, actually. And this is for the people that anneal their brass. Uh, do you find it easier to seat the bullet inside of the case uh, after you anneal, or is it a little bit more difficult? Uh, this question comes from me loading up uh, a handful of 6.8 Western last night, and I noticed some were really easy to seat, and they gave me my seating depth that I wanted, and some of them were a little bit more difficult to seat. There was a lot more friction, and they made my seating depth about three to five thousandths longer than what I'm um, wanting them to be. So I need to go out and see if there's any measurable difference in groups with comparing the bullets that seated really easily versus the ones that didn't and are sitting a little bit longer uh, for the overall length. Well, uh, I got out here to the shooting spot and the wind is cranking. I uh, was not expecting that because the weather forecast uh, did not call for this. Uh, however, uh, I'm just gonna shoot at 100. We'll see if there is any measurable difference between the group sizes uh, with the bullets that seated really easily versus the ones that didn't. And then I will chronograph them over my lab radar and see if the velocities changed or if I get a different extreme spread and standard deviation. I started off with the rounds that were noticeably harder to seat. Uh, I handpicked these first five. They were all five thousandths longer than what my baseline was. My baseline is 2.225 inches base to ogive. These next three shots were the ones that were approximately one to two thousandths off my base seating depth and they were right on the border of being really easy to seat um, and being a little bit more difficult to seat. Definitely easier to seat than the first group but not as easy to seat as the last group in which you will see in a little bit. These last three were the ones that were the easiest to seat and they were right on my targeted seating depth. I should also mention that I'm using browning uh, nickel-plated brass for these reloads. These velocities were from the rounds that I had annealed, but they were noticeably harder to seat. Um, as you can see, the velocities are kind of all over the place. Uh, not what I'm really wanting in regards to long-range performance. These last four were also annealed. They were the easiest to seat and they were at my targeted seating depth. For me, uh, my brass seems to be annealed properly when it is easy to seat and this in turn gives me consistent velocities, consistently good groups and uh, consistent seating depths.